Now, one of the problems with making a new fretboard is you have to figure out where the fret placement has to be. And either you're going to check your old fretboard or you're going to make the markers or the positioning for the new frets on the new fretboard. Uh, you still need some way to measure it. Now, we could use special tools. We could use a special ruler. There are a lot of different things that we can do. You can even look in specific books, and for the length of scale, it will give you the individual measurements. If you're going to use the individual measurement method, okay, it can get kind of cumbersome because sometimes the, the, the decimal places go out to four places. Kind of difficult to, to mark off each fret. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we call a tangent line. And let's imagine that the fret, the scale that we're going to use is going to be 25 inches. And I would go to a piece of paper that was big enough, and I would draw out a line that's 25 inches. So from here to here is exactly 25 inches. Next thing I would do is I would get myself a square, and at the end of the line, I'm going to make a 90 degree line straight up. Now, I would go to a book and for the 25 inch scale, I would get the measurement for the first fret from the nut to the center of the first fret. So let's say I do that. I go to the book, I take my caliper, I mark off the measurement. In this case, I'm going to use a compass. So this is the measurement now between the nut and the, f in the uh, first fret. And I put it right on this center point. And let's make it, this is going to be out of scale so you can see what we're going to do. So now I'm going to just draw a radius down to the bottom line. Okay, so we have a nice radius. So the tangent line is going to go from this point here where this radius hit up here to the very beginning of this line. So as best I can, I will try to make a straight line for you. All right. All right, there we are. So now we have what we call the tangent line. The tangent line is going to make it very easy for you to figure out the individual fret placement as long as you have your scale correct and this measurement was correct and you came up and you're from at the very top of this radius and at the very beginning of the line. So once we do that, I'm going to take my, I'm going to go to the beginning of that radius, I'm going to take my square and I'm going to draw a line straight up to the tangent line. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass, put it right down here at the bottom of this straight line, and I'm going to put it right at the top of this tangent line and draw another arc down. Okay, That is now the placement for the second fret. Then I'm going to take my square again and draw a line straight up. And again, take my compass, bring it down to where the 90 degree line intersects the tangent line, and bring the radius down. That now becomes the position of the third fret. And we continue on for as many frets as you plan on using on your fretboard. Now, obviously, the using a sharp pencil is definitely going to help, but if you had to measure out the frets, this would be a very interesting way of doing it because you only have to worry about the measurement once. Then after we, we marked out all the frets that we're going to use, we would cut this out and we could tape this portion to the fretboard that we're going to use and put the individual marks on the fretboard and from there it's just a matter of sawing the slot for the fret. So this is called the tangent line method and so we're going to now go on to some of the tools that we can use in lieu of the tangent line or measuring out the location for each individual fret.